this lesson, we'll discuss the optimized performance improvements in V-Ray Next for SketchUp, as well as some smart improvements related to this. To start, let's take a look at how the new NVIDIA AI Denoiser can be used to get super fast interactive previews, and then we'll move on to discuss some new GPU production improvements. The newly incorporated NVIDIA AI Denoiser in V-Ray Next uses artificial intelligence to estimate what the image should look like without the noise. Since it does this super quickly, it's perfect for making tweaks to your scene during interactive rendering and giving you a feel for the result. To enable the NVIDIA AI Denoiser, let's first open up the V-Ray Asset Editor, and in the Render Rollout of the Settings tab, let's toggle on the Denoise option. In V-Ray Next, there are two different denoisers you can choose from, so we'll need to open up the right-hand flyout window and expand the Denoiser Rollout menu to select which denoiser we want to use. By default, the denoiser is set to the V-Ray denoiser. Here, we can click the drop-down menu and switch it over to the NVIDIA AI denoiser. One thing to note here is that the NVIDIA AI denoiser does require an NVIDIA GPU to work, regardless of whether you're rendering on CPU or GPU. Now, before we start the interactive render, let's also increase the update frequency parameter to 100. This will ensure that the denoiser updates as quickly as possible, giving us a very fast and noise-free preview. Also, to ensure even faster rendering, let's switch over from CPU to GPU rendering and then start an interactive render. Now, you'll see that we get a very quick preview here, but the illumination is coming from the environment only, which is why it looks so dark. Let's switch over to our render camera scene here and turn on some lights. In the Lights tab, we can click the small light icon to enable a light I have already set up here. Now, you'll see the NVIDIA AI denoiser kicks in almost immediately and cleans the image very fast, removing all of the noise and giving us a clear picture of our scene. If we want to switch to the render camera chair scene or the render camera close-up chair scene, you'll see we continue to get a quick and smooth preview even when we keep switching perspectives. This makes the AI denoiser very useful for making adjustments to your scene's camera, lighting, objects, or textures. However, when it comes to animations, recompositing the beauty pass, or general production rendering, we recommend switching to the default V-Ray Denoiser, since it's more accurate than the NVIDIA AI Denoiser.